I freaking love Monkey's Katana as an anime, so naturally I consider Sekiro to be the best FromSoft game ever, and I'm here to rate all the monkey enemies in the game. There will be some spoilers up ahead, because nearly every monkey boss fight has a shocking plot twist at the end that has some serious lore connections, starting off with the most hated boss of the game. Buckle up boys, cause this is gonna trigger some extreme emotions, and probably some mean comments too. Holding three monkeys are probably the most controversial boss in Sekiro. You either love or hate puzzle bosses in FromSoft games, and the majority of players absolutely hate them. This boss is a twist on the popular Japanese proverb, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, which is reflected by the monkey's special abilities. The purple one has really good eyesight, the green one has exceptional hearing, and the orange one can scream very loudly. So you're gonna spend some time trying to trick them into going into places where their senses are impaired, trapping one in the dark area, trying to deafen another one with a bell, and simply chasing the last one and slashing it while it cries for help. But then the fight is not over, and you might notice that the boss health bar still has a quarter of the health remaining, which doesn't really add up, given that there should be three monkeys to defeat. So if you're like me and refuse to look up a guide, you might spend an hour or so losing your mind in the Hall of Illusions. It got to the point where I actually thought I was the fourth monkey and tried jumping off a cliff, which restarted the boss fight. It turns out that there is a fourth monkey that symbolizes the often forgotten last part of the proverb, do no evil. So as always, when it comes to FromSoft, the game design is flawless, there's a lore reason for everything, and you not progressing in the game is a skill issue. I'm gonna put the three visible monkeys in B tier, and the invisible monkey in A tier, for making me go clinically insane. The Guardian Ape. This has to be one of my favorite bosses in all of From Software games. The design is simply amazing, and yes, that is a sword stuck in its neck. The movement feels like you're actually fighting a real ape, and the lore is, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Even the arena lets you sling around trees like Tarzan. Whoever designed this boss must have studied real monkeys at the local zoo because of its, uh, realistic special attack where it jumps up in the air and throws, uh, fecal matter at you, dealing extra poison damage. It also has a poison cloud attack. I'm gonna let you figure that one out. Anyway, it's one of the most memorable fights that definitely deserves the A tier. So you finally beat the Guardian Ape. You see the Shinobi execution screen and you probably think it's time to celebrate. Well, here comes the plot twist. The monkey comes back to life picks up the sword you used to get rid of his head, and comes at you again, this time armed and dangerous. The first time this happened, I pretty much stood there in awe and just let it win out of sheer shock. This is my favorite boss fight twist in the game, so I'm giving it the S tier. Sunken Valley Monkeys. There are a few variants of this one, but overall they are pretty average weak mobs. They don't seem to be evil or anything. Most of them don't carry any weapons, so they can't block your attacks or do any real damage, which makes me feel bad for fighting them at all. One exception is the armed version. This monkey got tired of getting butchered by ninjas and exercised its right to bear arms. I don't feel so bad for defeating them anymore, as they are shooting at me while I'm trying to save the world. I'm putting the barehanded one in D tier and the one with the flintlock in C tier. Elder Monkey. Big, white and hairy. This one is somewhere between a mini boss and a regular enemy. They will dual katanas and have a huge posture bar, making them pretty powerful. But there's only six of them in the game, and they are easily countered with a loaded shuriken. Adjusting for bonus points for sick design puts them in B tier. Headless Ape. Alright, so you defeated the Guardian Ape, twice, moved on with your life, and forgotten about the trauma of having to dodge excrement from an undead gorilla. Well, he's back. As the name suggests, its head is still missing, courtesy of your first encounter. The overall mechanics are pretty much the same as the previous fight, and you can deal with him pretty easily if you just sidestep most of his attacks, so I'll put him in B tier. However, this time he calls a friend. I'm pretty sure that meme is the main motivation behind that fight. Just as you thought the plot twist with the big white hairy zombie were over, he calls for backup and now you have to deal with two at the same time. Thankfully, the headless ape's buddy, or mate, is not as powerful or undead as him, so it's not as difficult as it sounds. Still A tier for the plot twist. So here's a look at my totally objective tier list. Like and subscribe if you agree, and let me know in the comments how wrong I am about the folding screen monkeys.